Look at that beautiful piece of fruit. <laughs> hey, welcome back everybody. We got a fig video for us today. Um, this is called a Susser George fig. And I have no idea what this is supposed to be like. I don't know a whole lot about this fig. Um, I'll actually, I think the link is probably, or not the link, but the uh, picture on the video. I think I'm going to show the tree that it came from. It's not a, it's not a huge fig, but it's decent. And this is actually a Breba off of Susser George. I have no idea. I don't know if this is uh, going to be like a berry fig or a honey fig. I'm guessing berry, but I don't know. Anyway, wanted to show you the eye. Pretty well closed. And this is an in-ground fig, by the way. I planted the, the fig, the tree. I planted it, I want to say, end of May. So, uh, kind of takes the guesswork out of all the watering. Um, so, like, for instance... I have these trees in five gallon buckets and I have to I have to water them literally every day. And a lot of these are only one year old trees and they're doing really well. And then some in the back here, I've got in gallon pots. I actually did those, I rooted those over the winter. And uh, I, can, I can do another tour of this some other time, but you can see I've got all kinds of varieties. And then the ones in case you're not familiar with figs, the ones that I put in these buckets, uh, they're for sure to die and not, not fruit for us in uh, zone 6A, which is where I'm at. So, to control that, we put them in five gallon buckets. And there again, it's extra work, more watering, more fertilizing. But when you put a tree in the ground, you don't have to worry about all that stuff. So, anyway, this is Susser George. I'll probably hand this off to Holly. And I'll get to cutting on this for us. Um, I, I felt this, and this has probably taken eight days, seven, eight days for this to ripen to this point. And it's not super soft. Um, the best way to know how a fig ripens is it always ripens from the bottom and it goes up through the neck. This is just the stem, so it's not going to be soft. But when I picked it, there was no sap, no white milk. And I know that sometimes that latex kind of burns people. It doesn't really affect me, but, um, and then it's somewhat soft up here, but it almost feels rubbery. Uh, anyway, just trying to give you an idea of what this looks like. I'm going to cut this part off. Yeah, see, still no sap, no milk. Um, it's just the moisture from the fig, so. Anyway, yeah. So, this is, this is my, I, I always... Well, not always, but usually I'll pick them a little bit early. Uh, don't mean to. I don't think I'm in a hurry, but not being real experienced, I'm I'm trying to leave them on and do the best I can. But at the same time, it's a ripe fig, so it's just not a dried fig. So I'm going to cut this. It's pretty. Uh, smells. Yeah, uh, it's probably got a lemon or not a lemon, a melon smell to it. But you can see, um, pretty soft. Anybody wanna do a fig taste for us? Oh, you saw that hand, right? All right, Trey. Now this is a six-year-old's perspective, so keep that in mind, everybody. While you're tasting that, I'll go ahead and cut this other. What do you think, Trey? What does it taste like, berry or honey or lemon? Or mint? Hi. Melon? Honey and berry. A little bit of both? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try it too. I'm gonna start from the top just because the bottom tends to be a little sweeter. And that was probably more of a, like a musk melon taste. And there again, that's because it's a little bit, I could have left it on longer and ripen. This is a Breba, so all your Brebas are generally not gonna taste as good as your main crop your main fruit for the season you know the tastes like a ripe musk melon to me and there again my perspective but the skin was a little rubbery I don't I didn't taste any of the I didn't think the skin was too rough I didn't think it tasted rubbery at all um, yeah I think it's a good fig as for the honey berry like I said, the best way I can describe it, 
just a really good ripe musk melon so or cantaloupe for those of you that have cantaloupe so all right well there you go that's our first um, taste of the susser george and again this is the breva crop we're going to taste the main crop and see how much different it is if it's any better or not but we have to wait a little bit because it's not ripe yet so anyway enjoy we'll be back with more figs have a great day